Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monish. Thanks for tuning back in. I'm a chartered accountant based here in Melbourne. And today we're going to speak about the five financial mistakes that you must avoid when you're in your 20s. The first one is not investing in your retirement. You must have the extra shot, man. Whenever in doubt, have the extra shot. And while you're at it, buy your mates a round of drinks, will you? After that terrible piece of acting, let me just draw your attention to one simple fact. In our 20s, we don't think that we are ever going to be old. We never think we're going to be 60, 70, 80. We're not going to have an income. We always think that life's going to be great. But that is far from the fact. And in school, we've heard about this thing called compound interest. What that means is when your returns on investment is reinvested, the returns from that are substantial. And that is exactly what investing in your retirement is. You cannot withdraw it until a certain age. And when you are of age, you will have a substantial amount to live a good, happy, retired life. This is mainly for business owners. And uh, a lot of business owners that I have met do not actually save for their retirement. I personally put 10% of all my earnings into retirement. So if I earn, let's say $1,000, what I would do is I would put $100 into my retirement fund. A couple of things that people don't really take into consideration is that when we grow old, we are going to be impacted by the adverse effects of climate change. And at that time, I feel that if you have enough money in your bank account, it will really help. Also, what we don't understand in our 20s is that house prices grow at a faster rate than our wages. And that has been a problem all around the world. So when you grow up and actually buy a home, you will take a longer time to pay it back, which means that you will have lesser savings. And those regular investments that you make from your 20s will really help you in this situation. Mistake number two is spending on things that don't bring you a lot of joy or spending on things that bring you just temporary joy. Yo, how's the hangover, man? Did you know that Kanye just dropped a new set of Yeezys? Fuck you, man. Extra shot? What the fuck? What you, did, did, did you just say Yeezys? Question, do you really need $500 shoes? Do you really need them to walk better or feel better? And even if it makes you feel better, how long does that feeling last? That is something you must ask before buying things that buy you temporary joy. We've all heard the saying that money doesn't buy you happiness. But what I feel is that money can buy you experiences that will get you happiness. And that's what you must think about. In your 20s, you need to stop spending things that buy you temporary happiness and try to figure out what is it that will get you a lot of happiness or what is it that will buy you memories. For me personally, it's been traveling. So I spent a lot of money, a lot of my savings into traveling. And if you check out my video on investments, I speak a lot more about it. I also feel that in your 20s, you should invest in things that you feel might get you a bigger return. For example, let's say you want to start a YouTube channel and you're really serious about it. Or you started a YouTube channel and you've got say five, 600 subscribers. What you should do is buy a better camera or buy better lighting, buy better equipment, buy better mics. Invest in that because you know that in the future, that's going to give you a lot more money. Mistake number three, do not buy a depreciating asset before you buy an appreciating asset. One of the biggest mistakes we make the second we start earning money is that we feel that in order to raise our status in society, we need to have a better car. Think about a car, the second you drive it out of a showroom, the value drops around 20%. And think about it, is there any point in buying a brand new car when you're in your early 20s? There absolutely isn't. You're better off buying a second-hand car, which doesn't depreciate as much. 
and investing the money, investing the repayments that you have on your car loan into managed funds or share market, or you could even save to buying your first home or first investment property. All of these things, mind you, will increase in value. And there will be a time in your 30s where you can afford a much better car as compared to what you could in your 20s. Mistake number four is not having a credit card. That's correct, not having a credit card. Now, everybody will tell you, don't get a credit card, you'll spend more money. Credit cards are really important because they improve your credit rating. So get a card with a small spending limit, say $500. What that does is if you pay those repayments on time, it improves your credit rating. And the next time you go to the bank for more money, they'll say, this guy has a good credit rating. We're happy to give him more money. The problem here is that when you start spending on your credit card and from your savings card, at that point, you don't know how much money you're spending and you tend to overspend. If you can just stick to spending from one card, you can budget better and you can also improve your credit rating. So do get a credit card in your early 20s, but ensure that you make all the repayments on time. Credit card interests are really high. If you go the other way and you don't pay it on time, you will only go backwards. So get a credit card and ensure you pay that on time. Mistake number five is spending too much on dates. Let me start this section off with my outstanding acting abilities. Hey, how are we doing, man? Big night. Date night, I hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope you're taking her to some fancy place, man. And make sure you buy the expensive wine, yeah? Always remember, first impressions always count. Man, I am so grateful to have you in my life. I have no idea what I would do without you. Thanks so much for that, man. Thanks so much. Just a small piece of advice, not always spend a lot of money on dates. Yes, it is fine for special occasions, but if you constantly have to impress your partner by taking her or him out to uh, very fancy places, that might lead to problems in the future. So use your money wisely, use it for something that would bring you guys memories as we discussed earlier in the video and not constantly just on going out to fancy places and doing fancy ass things because the simple pleasures in life are normally not that expensive. Anyways, thank Thanks so much for your time guys as always i'm really grateful hope you enjoyed this video and do hit the like and subscribe button because it helps this channel grow